Hey everyone, I'm Kathy and this is More Than a Conqueror, a webisode that gets the perspective of everyday women. We talk about real issues, give godly wisdom and practical advice. Ultimately, we want to grow and help you grow in your journey. Our vision is pretty simple. We take a topic and dissect it, talk about it, and make it relevant to your life. On the panel today are single moms, Tracy and Deshaun. And our question today is, how do you regain wholeness in your family when it has been broken? Well, I personally didn't even think my family was broken. Even after we split up, I was like, it's not broken, you know? But when I finally was at the end of my rope and nothing that I was doing on my own was working, I actually decided to try church. Mm -hmm. um, I had grown up in the church, but I had bad experience. And I went back, and this time I found people that I liked and mm -hmm. words that spoke to me, and they were non-judgmental, mm -hmm. um, just real Christians. Yeah. And um, after going for a couple of years, all along, I realized, like, oh, yeah, my family is broken, and it can be restored. Mm -hmm. And so through going weekly and serving and studying the Word, mm -hmm. I find that we're at a better place now than ever. Okay. It went from not even thinking it was broken to actually being restored. Okay. Is your child involved in your church as well? Mm-hmm. She serves um, with us in outreach, and she um, is in the... Queens um, group, mm -hmm. and she's getting more involved as she gets older. Okay. What about you, Deshaun? Oh, um, regaining wholeness after your family has been broken. <clears throat> um, I actually, coming from a broken family, um, generation after generation, um, it was my passion to not have that, to not have children without a home mm -hmm. and so um, when I got pregnant with my first daughter it was devastating yeah. and it was um, such a heavy burden that now 15 years later you know we kind of just lived with um, and it really wasn't until I got to the place where I was able to admit that I was broken it's not just a broken family, but understanding that you're broken. Mm -hmm. um, when I got to the place where I understood that I was broken, then God was able to begin the healing yeah. and, and to put the pieces back together. Mm -hmm. And he put me in situations and places that caused me to really understand who he is. Um, I was surrounded by people who didn't look at me and my children as a broken family. Yeah. They saw us as a family. Um, I, you know, was able to take part in seminars and courses that really dealt with healing and forgiveness and understanding, um, that holding on to the guilt of the brokenness doesn't produce healing. You can't, there's nothing you can do with that. Um, and then really, um, taking time to hear from God about who he says I am and allowing him to, to start the healing process. Uh, and then also, um, as a family, we're a family. Yeah. Um, you know, understanding there is no, there's no broken, there's no such thing as a broken family. A family is a family. Um, and so we love hard. It means we have to love harder because, you know, there are issues that we face that others won't face. Yeah. Um, so we love harder. We love deeper. We are connected. Um, but we allow God acknowledging that we were in that broken place and allowing God to provide healing through others, through um, his word, through prayer. And he's still building us up. Mm -hmm. um, he's still taking those places that were in ruins before and making them new every day. Okay. It's, a, it's a continuing process. That's awesome. Yeah. Anything else you want to add, Tracy? No, but I totally agree with you. <laughs> it's like a continued process. And I don't think that families are broken. I think we're a broken mm -hmm. people living in them. But ultimately, God can heal everything. And that's such a miracle to watch unfold. Mm -hmm. And I love knowing that my child will be raised in a godly environment. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Whereas before, I didn't, I didn't want that. Now mm -hmm. I understand what that means mm -hmm. and how wonderful it is. Yeah. When my husband and I broke up, um, I ended up visiting other churches besides the one that we were at and I found myself hurting all the time I was wandering and then I went and found our church that we all go to together and joined the outreach team 
and found family. And that brought so much wholeness to my life and started serving. And when I was serving, I was realizing that other people had problems too. And I stopped thinking about myself so much. And I involved my daughter and just got really involved, um, got to know some single moms and really started building family. And one thing I found about being planted in a church as well is the things that maybe your husband used to do, like maybe help you with your car or help you with what have you, you can always depend upon someone at church that's going to invest in you. Mm-hmm. So I, I really found that that is the key, is being planted in the house and having your children involved so they can have mentors and people who will look out for them. Yeah, an extended family. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do you have anything else you'd like to add on the topic? I love that God puts the lonely in family. Yes, mm-hmm. yes he does. And we can stand on that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I, I will say that my quickest healing came when I stepped out and began um, encouraging and inspiring others who were broken. Mm -hmm. When you reach a hand out to someone else who is hurting, God does something in you. That's right. Um, He's going to heal you. But if you want a quick recovery, Mm -hmm. start working to heal someone else. Mm -hmm. Start serving. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Absolutely. And I know that um, all of us are involved in the single moms group at our church, and we have so much joy and happiness. And sometimes people look at single moms like, oh, they're so pitiful, but we don't have that. <laughs> we don't have that. We have joy. We're a family. Love that they do. We help each other through the hard times. Yeah. And I'm just so grateful for that. I'm grateful for both of you. Right. I'm grateful for our church that supports us. Yeah. That. Yeah. Because so many churches don't understand. And maybe they think that they're promoting single motherhood or what have you. Right. But they don't have a program. It. Yeah. But the Bible clearly talks about helping widows and orphans. And I feel like one of the reasons our church is blessed is because of what you do. Mm -hmm. Well, that's all we have time for this episode. We hope you enjoyed this discussion. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time.